Join us. We're an elite team of park interpreters and outdoor explorers stationed in regional parks and dedicated to uncovering and sharing the secrets of nature. In today's episode, we're on the trail of the little known northern flying squirrel, a nocturnal species that inhabits almost all parts of Canada. We're out here measuring the distances between these ponderosa pine trees using our meter wheel because northern flying squirrels glide between trees up to distances of 20 meters. They glide using flaps of skin between their forelegs and their hind legs. One, two, three, four, five. 5.6, Monder. You got that? Was that the chatter of the northern flying squirrel? Let's go take a look. This is the northern flying squirrel we heard chattering just a few minutes ago. But it isn't actually a northern flying squirrel because northern flying squirrels are nocturnal and they have extra large eyes to help them see at night. This ponderosa pine forest is the natural habitat for the northern flying squirrel, which is a close relative to the red squirrel, which we see during the day. We're going to go out tonight and see if we can't find live footage of the northern flying squirrel in its home habitat amongst these beautiful vanilla trees. We followed a pair of northern flying squirrels to this mating area in the forest. I have brought a special tool with me which mimics the cinnamon flanks and white underbelly of a male northern flying squirrel. We are going to throw this in the air to mimic their mating display and see if we can't lure a female out to see us. James, what was the evolutionary advantage? For northern flying squirrels learning how to fly? Well because flying of course is the second coolest method of transportation after swimming. 